Welcome back to Backwoods Hustle. We're here at a house in Bristol. Um, we got to do a clean out on. We was supposed to be clearing it too, but the city code enforcement actually come and beat us to it, and they're back there cleaning up the backyard right now. Yeah. Code enforcement said it was pretty bad back there, so the city's back there working and cleaning. But we're going to get busy with the uh, trash cleanup now. Were those just lying there? Yeah. Well, damn. <laughs> bro, you don't have more tools than you know what you're doing. There's a very nice salt bike sitting back there. Yeah, it's pretty big too. Yeah. All right, so this is the inside. I mean, it's like these people just had to get out and get gone, I guess, or something, because they everything's kind of left here for the most part i can't find a lot for in here like this door man oh this whole room in here look more nascar i had some sticker things i think that stick on the wall some good stuff look star wars over here in the corner take this shit. oh hell look at that bro is that night vision? That's what, I'm, that's what I was going to say. Is that a night vision, man? What yeah. is that? Yeah. Bro, Bro what the heck? Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, is that night in the Dude, these are totally night vision goggles, bro. <laughs> night vision goggle, Infinity Ward. Dude, that is some cool There's shit something. right there. That's the first time for us, some night vision goggles, though. Nice. Fucking... <laughs> Walkie talkies. Every now and then we find some pretty decent stuff, I have to admit. It like a uh, it's like some uh, game stuff over there. Hey, are we taking appliances out? Yeah. We got washer, dryer, and fridge back here. Nice. How's that fridge? I ain't fucking opening it yet. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. All right, that light don't work in here. Leave it to so me, boys. To figure that Every out. Every time. Oh, yeah. Every time, boys. <laughs> okay. You find the gym bean? I need to restock. <laughs> That's nice. Brand new bottle. Yes. All right, this door. Sh oh, okay. This house is bigger than it looks. Yeah, it is. Like, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Going back in time, bro. That's a canner, a little. What, ain't this like a canner thing or something? Well, it's the smash cans. Yeah, yeah, can. yeah, yeah, okay. So I'll come back past the living room out the kitchen and stuff, so. Hey, that's a cigar box. Alright, so this is one of the bedrooms. There's tobacco in here in the jar. They rolled their own tobacco. I mean that's not that's a cheap little fucking Decent bed though. Why? It's going to hold. No, they're just nasty. Just nasty. Yeah, that carpet looks disgusting. Fucking TVs and. Oh, there's some hammers and shit in here though. What? I just left all the tools. Let's see. Guess we need to get. Let me figure out a game plan. Start room by room. Since the dumpster ain't here, I guess yeah. we could uh, uh get some trash bags, start bagging some. I guess. What we can, what scary. we can bag. Yeah. What, is that a bathroom? Oh. What is that? Is that a a room? room? Is that a whole ass room? Yeah. It does look nasty as hell in here. It's a little rank. 
the wet room. Looks like yeah, it. man. This whole ass other bedroom in here. Well, totally had a water leak or something. Yeah. That one's, this one's gonna suck. Yeah. Uh, we've had worse though. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get all the scrap metal together. It is nice that the city's back here cutting all this up, I guess. So, yeah. They said it's pretty bad. This is the back porch back here. All right, so we're going ahead and making a trash pile driveway. They said it's gonna be like a day or two before the dumpster gets here. So we're gonna go ahead and do what we can because I ain't got time to wait on these fools. We got money to make, ain't that right, John? But New Again Homes, our local realtor and stuff here, they buy all kinds of things and they keep us pretty busy. So we're very thankful. Uh, yeah, they're in the back of my car. Some gloves would be great. <laughs> Babysitting my nephew today. Hey, buddy. What are you fishing? Uh, what you, would you do with your passy? Alright, so this is a signed Tony Stewart tag. Photos of him signing it. Pretty cool. I'm not even fucking seeing... Oh, I guess... Alright, so... All this paneling. And then coming down to the basement insulation. holy hell I hate when, I hate when we get in the basements like this your best bet is to follow me if you're walking anywhere holy hell the damn they made a mess in this month yeah. so I said, you're gonna need a and the hell they do they just throw sh hey this is dope though that's a Batman Returns yeah. cup from the fucking... It's like the 90s, bro. Yeah. Get in the daylight where we can see. What oh, is that? Jurassic oh, that's Scotty Park. Pippen. Oh, hell. Look. Jurassic Park. They're McDonald's cups. Old McDonald cups. That's pretty dope. Well, some, that's a good little find in this little mess of a basement. And there's some scrap. There's some old those metal, too? Yeah, those are light things, I think. No, those are radiators. Right. Oh, are they? Yeah, yeah, those are heaters. I can see now. Totally. Bicycle. Yeah. I want to ride my bicycle. 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 <laughs> All right, scrap. Man, what in the hell, though? Like, it's like they just threw their. Oh, nice. Cubs. Hey, that. I wonder if any, that one's leaking. These old Valvoline oil cans. There's a Braves. Oh, Braves. Nice. I see. Let's set them over here for now. Uh, basements. This basement is a total disaster. Uh, I know, bro. They're like everywhere. Damn. Sucks they broke that. Hold on. What in the hell? Is this an old? This is an old. Anybody know what this is? Because I don't. I know it looks like an older 90s, 80s toy of some sort. Um, some stuff missing down here. Remember? Kay you're getting Kaylin yeah, a fish. Yeah, it's a 10-gallon fish tank over there. I'm curious. So this is totally the worst room by far. Hey, don't break me. By far. Oh, shit. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that's dope. Oh, NASA What's space that? shuttle. All right, baby. Well, the helicopter, but they broke it off. See you back. Hell. There's your broom. I don't like a broom. 2002 Ron McDonald 
souvenir plates. Interesting. We went ahead and started throwing some of this stuff in the gone. trash can. Look at that remote. That's one of the massive old ones, huh? There we go, just picking things up and tossing. You don't want none of these wires, do you? No, toss them. Fucking reeks. Alright, we're finding a good assortment of things. Kind of drone, but we can't find the charger to it. I thought this was Ray Mysterio for a second. Cigars. This guy was like some kind of cigar collector or something. El Guapo. Interesting. <laughs> we found some games. Got a bit of them. Oh, you might want to keep that thing. Got a good little key pile coming together over here. Oh. Well, get both. Oh, that'll make you your toy. Found a gun lock. That's pretty cool. Gun cleaning kit and mat. Hmm. All right. Finding more gun stuff, but no guns. My brother's out of town, by the way. We're just kind of loading in the totes and making a pile over here. So. We got a good little dent in this room, I guess. John got the stuff off the walls over there. John, got it all off the wall. <laughs> 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 it's like you found that toaster. Mm. $8 toaster from Kmart, 1984. And Yes, it's actually in here. Oh, it's actually an old rotary phone that's in there. <laughs> that trash can's full, getting a scrap pile. This is all stuff that's going to go in a dumpster when it finally gets here. I got a good dent in this room. Some of the stuff out of the laundry room in here. Oh, you're in the shed out here. You got a couple mowers. I'm Jonathan, I'm not the shed. And hey, I wonder. Nice, no, so we get these to work. That's a big sub, though. Yeah, buddy. That thing's massive. Yeah. 10 inch Kerwin Vega. Nice. And that other speaker out there goes with it. That's a Kerwin Vega, too. Yeah, I seen that speaker went with it. We need to keep an eye out because I bet you they had it. Here, I can get this in that hole right there. Yeah. I bet you they uh, had it set up a surround sound through the house. Probably. I bet you there's more of them sitting in one of these rooms. 
I was putting our last of things in here. Loading stuff in the the second load to take to the shop. This will be the last load of the day. Anyway, I'm getting oh. got some stuff out of here. Found some neat things. We got both these mowers to fire. Uh, this little cart uh, come. It, you can actually dump with it. The back picks up pretty easy. Just got to get some WD-40 on it. Get them wheels turning. Found a good, pretty much new tarp back there. And another cedar extension pole. We're gonna end up using pruning saw on there right now. Let's we'll see if we can put some other stuff on it. Second load of the day. All right, so we're here to get this load from this house. I'll go inside and see what else is in here. We're back here grabbing things for scrap. Found some more cell items. Uh, this dark kitchen just took the microwave out. We gotta get the fridge out, but we ain't doing that right now. Look and see if you find any pots and pans anywhere in here. Junk under yeah, right here. Bless you. Load. All right, here's some more metal. Scrap out of the cabinets. All right, so we got all the metal out of the kitchen for scrap. Have you ever seen a broom vacuum? It's a broom and a vacuum. That's a nifty old mm. server. Totally different. Pun intended. On our second day at this house here in Bristol. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing this stuff behind me into the dumpster. That way we can get to cruising, get this one knocked out and get onto another one. So, and also if you have not hit the like and subscribe, please do that now. Uh, we get a lot of cool houses that we find and cool things uh, with a bunch of stuff in them. And we also do a lot of other work as well. And I promise our uh, videos won't disappoint. We're trying to get better and take this more serious as we go. We're learning as well. So any tips that any of y'all have, Please leave them in the comments and let's get rolling on this job. because for some reason they give us such a small dumpster for such a full house. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's a toaster I was using to lean my phone up against the film while I was putting stuff in the dumpster. This is the interior. 
which I've already showed, but I'm showing you why we're gonna start pulling out of here now. Thinking on taking that to my house. This is very nice, wish we had room for it. But even though the house is dirty, these chairs seem to be in pretty decent shape. Yeah, all kinds of crap back here in the kitchen still. In the back porch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start on all the small stuff in here in the living room and get it all out of the floor and stuff and then we'll worry about everything else. Kind of just getting everything ready to toss up here. This is like some cool pole. So, I think we yeah, that, I turned that on, it works. Yeah, that's what I was going to check. Yeah, it works. It works. Yeah. Set it, set it up. So that's why someone didn't grab it. I forgot about it. I'm gonna keep that thing. That's what it says. Put it in the shop. I'm gonna hand you some of these jobs. Get that. Get that. All right, metal. Pick the metal out. Yeah. Just this. You want me to break this off this handle? Nah, I ain't worried about it. There's some lady knocking. Oh, this one's stuck in there. Oh, we're getting stuff out of the kitchen. This whole wall, ceiling, I mean, collapsed. It's like falling it's down. <laughs> right there. You see where water got in here and kind of fell in on it. Oh, yeah. oh God. This was holding part of it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we need. Go ahead and take shit off the top shelf and get caved in on because that plate's holding that up. Yeah, and they're right. We'll leave that plate for last. That way, if I want to get dusted, it'll be a tip of the day. I'm going to go empty this one. How about that plastic lid might make it too heavy, man? Man, this cold set in fast as hell. My damn window won't roll up. That's why I got the beds on this morning. Oh, hell, man. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, check it, though. Look at the bins. You know how Jeep can always do little stance sits? Yeah. Pull rear tire off the ground. Post it up. I can't believe you threw away tater salad. Shit. Yeah. Things out that my mother tried to get me to take, but because I just live right up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Matching cake paint. And, uh,. enough right now go ahead and dump them in there watch out there okay. chang lee for sure take them with me Up here, if he doesn't have black pepper, that shit's expensive. Right. I went and bought a thing of black pepper the other day, it was $3.49 for a fucking pepper. Yeah, stuff you feel nuts. Everything's expensive.
All this is coming out, right? Cabinets and shit. Uh, I got. I don't know. I gotta look at the demo list. Probably, most likely, but. Well, I'll leave this for now so I don't make much of better. Safe. For sure. Yeah, we'll wait. Sometimes they leave stupid, sh stupid stuff. <clears throat> Didn't fall as much as I thought it would. Good news. <laughs> All right. Well, everything else pretty much on the floor. Right there. Grab those things down, them little copper thing. Oh, yeah, let's get that set over there. Set them over there. Shit. All right, we about I'm got it moved. We gotta get all this stuff in here. <laughs> gotta get all this Good. stuff off the floor. I'm making my way there. I'm starting to top and working down. The family member also said the guy that lived here was a cop, or is still a cop. Okay. This is how person's yeah. finest kid. Yeah. take your children for not having a clean house. Tell them if they clean their own. All right. Totally gonna rip this all out, I bet, though, because of how small cubby hold it is. Usually they open them up. Yeah. All right, so about got everything out of out of here. A few more things cabinet, left in the cabinet. And the bottom cabinets. And, and the bottom floor. cabinets. And, and on the floor. Oh, that's empty. Is it empty? No, this that, that ain't. There's all kinds of food in there. All right, I ain't stinking yet, bad. You want me to leave it open? No. Just, <laughs> John's trying to get fired. <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I'm got a working washer. This thing looks brand new. Take it running. Now you can try the dryer. Working. That's working too. Make sure it gets hot here in a minute. It's turning though. That thing's nice. You don't see these much, hey, like the old sarsaparilla right. sodas. Use that this is the Kansas City sarsaparilla. Well, nobody wants it. Crack Inter it tasty, interesting. It's so good. I so, gonna test John's gonna test this thing. It hadn't been opened, so he just opened it. Damn, that's actually pretty fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know about these. This is what root beer is pretty much uh, originally before they started using all the chemicals to make root beer. This is how they naturally made it was with uh, sarsaparilla. Really? Any of y'all remember these old coffee canisters? You pump the coffee out. This thing's pretty good shape. Take that to the thrift store. Oh, old 80s blender. Is it glass? Yeah. Yeah. Probably sell that thing if it works. People like these. Clean them up. Scrap. 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 I got everything out of the bottom. So got some stuff in here. Yeah. Throw that outside on scrap pile in a minute. 
<laughs> That's good. John figured out the Polar Express things. They turn into boxes. John's gonna take them home with him. So we're getting a good little dumpster full. So we got most of the kitchen done. This is some keep stuff I gotta put out here, but everything's out of the cabinets and stuff, out of the fridge. So really it's pretty much just demo things that are left in here. Um, cleaning more stuff out of the laundry room. Got a few more keep things. Cool vintage coffee pot, the thing oh, works. Probably have a tape. Sitting there doing this on the fucking door. Alright. Getting uh, stuff out of this laundry room. It's one of them old fridge yeah. drawers, ain't it? Yeah. It's a metal fridge drawer. scrap every job good extra money i don't care what anybody says if you're smart with it and you separate your metals you pull out your aluminum your copper your brass all that kind of stuff that don't magnetize and then leave all the metal for weight and also clip all your cords you can if you get a good bundle of copper cords you can get insulated copper for that uh, good way to make it, uh, at least gas money and stuff for jobs you're doing if you're in this kind of work. Alright, go ahead and take it out of there. Alright, we're going ahead and take some of these cabinets out because we are demoing this kitchen, the cabinets and countertops. So, have John go ahead and toss that in the dumpster. Right there. So, we're going to take out this one too. That one can get out next. Yeah, buddy. Busting up, make more room in here. Cause they gave us the smallest dumpster for a entire house full of stuff. So we're getting a start on the kitchen with demo and getting the appliances out. There you got the, that one wall over there down. We're about to beat these ones down. Move the fridge over. We got to disconnect the wall before we mess with the fridge. Side. Oh shit, there goes the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, let's watch that. Hell far, that's gonna make a mess. Damn. Yeah. Well, yeah, me. So, I'm guessing that cabinet was helping hold, hold some of that wall. 
Uh, watch out for that thing could come down on your head, John. That ceiling. It'd be all right. There ain't nothing up there hurt. Get the rest of the set buffered off there. Need a pry, I think I got pry bars. I got pry bars in here and pry them off there. Yeah, they put them in with 16s. Get a little mess down here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm running to the house to pick up a trailer so we can get the washer and dryer out of there and also pick up a few other things so they can get some stuff done. I'm gonna be calling in an early day today when I get back here and do a couple things and get the washer and dryer. Uh, so they're gonna be getting some stuff done without me there. I don't have my GoPros together for them to film yet. Hopefully that's uh, that'll be done next week for sure so we can start having uh, my workers getting footage too when I'm not able to. But I'm gonna shut up so I ain't talking a whole lot on here. Just updating y'all on things with this video. Um, we've got the kitchen torn apart. They're going to start on the other rooms, the other bedrooms and the dining room, getting all the small trash out of there and putting it in the dumpster. So when I get back, I'll get y'all a clip of what they got done while I was gone. I'm back. Kitchen's still the same. They ended up cleaning some of the other rooms out. In here. Radio Web Village, where so. you get a web and promos on all five cumulus media stuff out of here while I was gone. This room in here is a mess as well. Dumpsters definitely seem to got a lot fuller. West side connection. Nothing in it. It was empty. It's getting full. Those are my own band too. All right, hold on. Around the sink. Just bust, break it. It'd be easier to just break it into two pieces. Snap that center break. Hit that top brace. Alright, there's all that. John, grab all that shit over there and put it in the dumpster. Stopping it, We're hitting the floor. <laughs> there you go. I thought we got paid birthdays. Don't so get no damn paid birthday. <laughs> <laughs> they got, they got, they got all that tore up out of there. Yeah, right.
this all one foot, two pieces. Yeah, it'll come out. Oh, my Super glue that crap and everything else. Seems like yeah. when you're trying to rip them off there. Yeah. The ceiling fall now. Hee <laughs> 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 The whole damn ceiling in there now. Let's walk around and check that out. Block the whole doorway. <laughs> 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 you figure that would have fell with it, yeah. Yeah, because I guess yeah. it's up there good. But dang, man, that made a mess. Let it air out. You don't need to be breathing that shit. That's asbestos insulation. This stuff got soggy because there's a leak up in the roof, so this is the nastiest room. Scrapper? Yeah, just throw it in there. Dad flipped the couch over and as always underneath why don't people sweep underneath couches come on guys underneath your couches you need to do a little better because I mean even some of the semi clean houses when we lift couches up underneath their couches are ridiculous like take the few minutes to move your couch around and vacuum and sweep people there's an iPad down in there, or I, uh, yeah, there we go. iPod. Nice. Welcome back to Backwoods Hustle. Um, I'm here on another day now. Um, it's my birthday, so I've been kind of taking yesterday off, half the day anyway, and half today. So, Dad and John's been here working on stuff. They demoed the bathroom, they got the rest of the demo in the kitchen done, and they got all the small rooms cleared out of all the small stuff. It's just big things left now. All that's left in there is the wardrobes and dressers and stuff. These are all emptied out in that second room in there. It's, uh, this is the moldy mildew room all cleared out now. Everything's off the walls in this one. Bathroom's demoed. <sighs> we just got furniture in here to get out. Kitchen's been gutted. It's cleared out now. We got this, they got the ceiling down. Most of it's being cleaned up. Um, but it's a pretty good mess. I got this uh, outside patio room cleared out. Pretty good. We still got the shed. Uh, we still got the shed back here too. We got to finish clearing out. Uh, well, we got to do it. It's on hardly clean out. And that's just sale stuff. So we're just moving along. Yank down all these curtains and blinds as usual. Oh, check this. Uh, dang, sunlight comes to that window again. What? I thought y'all turned that light on. No! 
they cleaned this room out and uh, the light, all the lights were off when they left. He said they come back this morning and the light was on. He thought the light was shining in here from the outside. <laughs> but it worked. That was electrical. It goes on and off. But I bet all that water shorting in there. I bet when we start turning this everything else off, I'm damn cobwebs. It shorted and turned these back on. Because remember that living room light you got sent there and flicker it. Yeah. Come on. I bet you. Currently trying to figure out how to get this couch out this door. Seeing if we can disconnect it or something. It's that's all one frame, ain't it? Yeah. That's a pain in the Well if we took those frames off. Okay, so we figured it out. It was the bars once we unbolted them, but they put a whole different bolt on this end and we had to rig the drill to fit the bit we found in the house. But we should be able to get these things out of here soon. All right, couch is out. Couch is out of here. Now onward with stuff, I guess. So they got all the plastic off this back little, uh, I guess, patio area. And this is how many staples they had all over this thing just to hold all this plastic on here. And it's like, they got a rip and decided to staple more. Like Look at all these staples. There's thousands of staples. All around in here. That is crazy. This is all cleared, except for the glider and a few little small things over here. They've gotten most of the floors up, living room, everything's gone except for the last few things that I'm gonna sell and keep and stuff. And we got someone on the way to pick this stuff up. We sold the bed. And uh, I think one of my workers is taking that. And then we'll rip the carpet out of there. They already got the carpet out of here. They're making pretty good progress here. I've got to do other things, so I ain't been able to be here and film. Bathroom's the mode. Right, so we're uh, pulling the carpet off the porch here. Hey, roll that back over so I can get a picture of it real fast. We're going to yank this up. This weird blue carpet and see if we can get it all off there. So, got the first layer off. <laughs> Found some Star Trek stuff. A signed William Shatner photo. Pretty cool. Moving the dresser and stuff out of the room. Got it sold. Fuck, that thing works good. Is that a sword? Oh, that's a. That's an actual work knife, ain't it? Like, no, that's a, one of them army looking things. A little K bar kind of. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Well, clearly it works good on carpet. That, Dad just found that over here behind the door. <laughs> so, working pretty good with cutting this. You got a sheath? Oh, well. <laughs> keep that shit on my belt. Yeah, keep it on your belt. Be a nice, neat little thing to carry. It's pretty handy. You'll be able to use it on jobs. Yeah. Probably just needs clean from where it's been sitting here. This whole house is nasty, so. But... Alright, Yeah, it's pulling all this out of there. So. Carpet's been coming up pretty.
Now I just gotta pull up the cover, the floor covering, which that stuff usually just pulls right up. Usually they don't. They usually just lay that stuff and they'll like throw it up the middle sometimes. The other one, they tack it all the way around. This depends on who's fucking doing it. Yeah, who lays it? Who's the laziest to lay it? Good Mexican one. Carpet's up in here. We do sweeping when we're at the end. We're getting ready to load all this scrap and start hauling scrap loads in the little baby trailer here. All right, so we're already loading uh, our little trailer here. I gotta give this thing a name. It, it gets a lot of work done. And then uh, we're just finding everything we can to fit in here. So I'm gonna swap with the pickup truck so I ain't killing our van <coughs> with the weight. So we're gonna load this one as much as we can. Take one load, go get the truck and come back and get the rest of it. We even got two big water heaters to bring out to uh, take out of here as well today. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> like, no doubt. You said that microwave weighs more than that cabinet right there. Uh, is that aluminum or what? Aluminum, I believe, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Buck, what is this? Yeah. Yeah, it's aluminum. Almost felt like a plastic. Yeah, it's aluminum. I've just been throwing these cords over here. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. It's piled all over there. That's where we're separating that. Making a separation pile, aluminum, stuff like that over there. Now they can go in there. First full bins being taken away here at the scrap yard. Got to get these cast iron tubs out of here. They do break up because it's just a thin sheet of cast iron. So you can bust them with sledges if you know how to do it right. Check out our videos and you'll see. But about got this bin pulled. Right. The year stamped on this cast iron tub is 10-23-1946. Okay, so we got 2565 on that one. Here getting the rest of the scrap. Changed to the truck now so we can get everything in one load. This little old metal Eureka from like the 60s. Pretty neat. <laughs> old Zenith suitcase kind of TV. You can carry that thing around. All metal. You're getting the freezer out of there. Back with the second load. Mostly aluminum and stuff in the trailer. The trailer's emptied now. waiting to get it all weighed. Good rest of it. <coughs> well, they got the basement all cleared out. These rooms are a big difference than what it did look like in here. That dumpster was empty when I started today. So everything's up and out of here. Well, I'm glad this All right, so they got the house done pretty much. I'm going to come here tomorrow and kind of do all the sweeping up and getting all the stuff that needs to be taken to our shop 
and sold at the thrift store out of here tomorrow. So really just cleaning up and finishing small stuff tomorrow is all that's left in here. Same stuff's pretty much sitting in here that we're selling and taking places. This is done. It's got a sweep. Same for in here. Just got a sweep. I'm gonna pull this up. Just pull her up tomorrow. Let's see if it's already getting I'm pulling up. But this one I'm gonna leave for them to get because we ain't got the torches and stuff to really get that stuff up right now. Really, I just got a lot of sweeping to do. When we come back tomorrow, it's a lot of cleaning. Don, will you turn that down a little bit? See where all the water's kind of ran down, ruined all that. As far as this stuff ain't the softest. Oh, it, it's mm -hmm. way softer. I'm surprised we didn't fall. They're definitely gonna be gutting this entire room out. I know that. It's pretty nasty. It was an animal. Yeah. If I was them, I'd cut a doorway out from the outside porch yep. and then separate it from this room. And Back decks cleaned up. Y'all got all the stuff out the shed, didn't you? Uh, all but just some stuff we're going to hand for tomorrow. All right. That's why I brought it today. And so just, just gotta get just the stuff. remaining little bit of crap out of the shed tomorrow. Other than that, this one's pretty much done. Yeah, yeah go ahead. This is all sales stuff. Oh. Those two uh, taillights, I found the matching signal lights for. All right. That's all stuff that we're gonna sell at the thrift store. I gotta get out of here tomorrow. We are finishing up today. I'm in here sweeping all this mess up. Get this room cleaned up and move to those back rooms. Now we can start closing areas off. I did make one mistake. Cause I didn't really pay close attention. I really thought this was wood floor through here, but it's actually, uh, it's actually linoleum. So we got to pull that up as well. We're going to get a torch here so we can get this stuff to peel up easier for us so we can rip that off. But right now I'm just focusing on getting stuff outside to load and sweeping. So that's pretty much what we're doing right now. So, I'm gonna get it all into one big pile right here. I'm gonna throw it in the bin and drive the bin in a dumpster and dumper. So. What we do, we kind of just polish a turd so they can come in here and start the remodel process. This turd's been pretty polished for them to finish cleaning up. What you see sticking there is all the little nail pieces from the carpet that's still stuck to the nails. I'll leave that for them when they refinish this floor, whatever they're gonna do with it. But now I'm gonna scoop all this up and get it into the bin and take it out to the dumpster. Got her swept up. Rest of it swept in here now. Getting ready in here now. Down to the hallway and bedrooms. They swept up the bathroom. That's good as we can get it because they're going to completely go in there and make more of a mess and all that good stuff. So, this room, I actually think I swept it up yesterday. So, that one looks pretty good. And that back room, they're going to be tearing a lot out, so I don't think I'm going to bother with it. But this one's a mess still. And, of course, the kitchen and the dining room. All right, got the cart full of junk off these floors. The bedroom's done, hallway's done, and there's done. 
That back room, like I said, I really ain't gonna mess with much in here because it's so moldy and nasty, but I'm gonna get a little bit of scraps off the floor. Yeah. That's, that's that for those rooms anyway. Going around, getting it all cleaned up. This is the worst one by far. This is the dirtiest room in here, but everything else swept up as good as it can get. Like I said, we just polish turds until they get in here and start the remodel. We just do demolition and junk removal and we do some slight cleaning so they got an easier job when they come in here and start the demo. I mean, not the demo, we do the demo. I could learn to talk right. <laughs> But they come in, they start the remodel. We rip everything out they tell us to rip out and sweep and clean the all the debris we leave behind and stuff so they can just come in and get to work doing their part. So that's kind of how we do with this company that we contract off of, they're realtors and they buy and sell a lot of homes locally where we're at they keep us decently busy but we still do a lot of residential work as well and <clears throat> we do other work than this is also so don't expect just junk outs and stuff on this channel we also do mowing landscaping brush clearing stump grinding uh quite a few other things what we can do to make money but i'm gonna get busy with this room get it cleaned up as good as i can before we rip all this carpet out Just cleaning a little bit of the left side of this house up. The city done most of it, so we're just doing what they didn't do. You mean the city workers didn't do all of it? Yeah. John's working on this carpet in oh, here. Oh, this is concrete, bro. Is it? Yeah. I just ripped the carpet off that damn thing, I guess. Yeah. Toss that other little piece of shit. Oh, you already did. Yeah. What? Lazy This is concrete here, nothing there. I was thinking, though, <laughs> that little piece of junk right there. Yeah. Sit your dryer right there. Have to, I'd have to find something for the back and sides. Well, what you can do is run it corner. <laughs> all the carpet in that one all right i'm gonna trim a little off this thing so you can walk back around that corner a little better you know, just clipping branches using the loppers ahead in there Got that cut down. Time to get it to the curve. Seventies. All right, so they're starting on ripping up the kitchen linoleum. <laughs> this stuff gets extra sticky. 
That's the second layer. We done got one layer off of where John was. Casey pulled all the fake hardwood off the real hardwood. So now we got real hardwood here. I don't, what, like what? I wonder why they put fake hardwood on top of good, nice, real hardwood. They had carpet on top of that hardwood. Yeah, I know, on top of this one, it's nice. And then oh. that one's really nice in there and they had fake hardwood on it. Yeah. That don't surprise me. We're down here tearing the pan one out. Carpenter. He probably did it himself. Probably a DIY. <laughs> I just want to know what it is of people not paying just a little bit more time to dig about another half a foot deeper. I done it wrong. DIW done it wrong. <laughs> Casey's got a new saying DIW instead of DIY. DIW's done it wrong. Make a shirt like that now. DIW done it wrong. No, DIW, do it yourself wrong. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> mm. Yeah, hold up. One more and we're done. Man, that's a way to do it right there. Mm. I could have put up suspension straps to hold my insulation. No, I would have put up fake walls and laid on top of it. Yep. Call it a day. Dad's working on the rest of this pain in the butt blue carpet on the front porch. To rip all that loose. Attempt. Just Tempted to just knock down them damn sides on down anyway. Down on porches. They just collect dirt. Yeah, about got it all pulled. Got all that swept off of there. This one wasn't fun to bring up here. Everything's done now. Got nice hardwood in here instead of linoleum. Kitchen's all cleared out. And all the way down into the basement. Nice and cleared out down here. Casey and John did a good job. And Dad and John the day before. We're down here getting stuff. It's all good and gone. All good and gone. Come back upstairs. That's the room that had the carpet. It's all taken care of. Well, out of your room out there. The shed's even cleared out now. As I showed earlier, room, all these rooms demoed, swept, carpets ripped up. This room and the laundry room empty and cleared. That'll do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the footage. I know I didn't get full, full work stuff, but I'm getting more clips than I used to. I had to go between jobs and stuff, a lot going on lately. So I'm doing the best I can. So please hit that like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.